Prior to the Civil War, women's lives were shaped by a set of ideals. They were expected to stay at home and care for the children and care for their households. That quickly changed at the start of the Civil War. Men were being drafted to the Union and Confederate armies, forcing the women to step up and take over the role of the man. Thousands of women signed up in the North and South as volunteer brigades and as nurses. This was the first time in American history that women were allowed to participate in war effort. These experiences that these women that volunteered had expanded the definition of true womanhood. It is also said that over 400 women disguised themselves as men in order to fight for the Union and Confederate armies. In the North, men and women eagerly signed up for military efforts as soon as war broke out in 1861. Women organized their ladies' aid societies in order to give the troops food, clothing, and money. The women planted their own gardens to provide for the troops. They also organized fundraising campaigns and sewed blankets and socks for their soldiers. Although this was a very important role in the war, many women wanted to be even more involved. They wanted to be able to work on the front lines, taking care of injured and sick soldiers as well as keeping the healthy soldiers healthy and ready to fight. When June of 1861 came around, their campaign was a success. The federal government agreed to create the United States Sanitary Commission. Their job would be to prevent disease and infections by stopping bad hygiene. By the end of the Civil War, the Sanitary Commission had given over 15 million in supplies. About 20,000 women worked in this organization. In the Confederacy, they had a very few resources and a lot less money. Therefore, they did much of the work on their own. The women could, would cook and sew for their troops and write them letters of encouragement. Sometimes they would even take wounded soldiers into their own home to care for them to give them a more homely feel. Many wealthy southern women relied on their slaves for much of the war effort, but even these women were forced to extend themselves into the war. Slaves were not allowed to give to the Union cause. The Civil War, war would give these women freedom, but also would add to their problems. They had to do much of the work of their husbands and partners since many of them were fighting in the war. This allowed women the opportunity to start in the fields and doing harder labor than ever before. Clearly, during the Civil War, women's rights began to rise. It allowed women to face a whole new set of ideals and responsibilities. It helped expand women's ideas of what their proper place in society should be.